that's true where there's a justificatory path. Now, I said to you, um, is it, it, could, could we know if there was a, a personal absolute creator God constructed the world in such a way that humans at a foundational level can know because of his ordination that the external physical world is real? Is, 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 could a, a, such a God do that? No, he couldn't. Well, he could, but there wouldn't be any evidence to point to such. I'm not there's hearing you. Between there be, look, there's a difference between there being truth and being actual knowledge. That's not an answer to and my question. having access to it, right? There's that's a not, that's a not an answer to my question. Ontology. You understand? Okay, well, okay, here's the question. The question dude. Because it Listen, you're talking there past can be evidence for me. God. Could a God that exactly. I just described do that? Could a God do that? Can you make an argument without begging the question? Okay, sir, I'm asking you a question. No, I can't. Could a that. creator God create no, such no, a world? I'm being deadly serious. Can you make an argument without I'm, begging? Okay, the sir, sir, what you, what you're doing I is you're you're, sir, you're you're completely sir. evading my question. Do you rule out? Do you rule out categorically that there is a God? No. It doesn't have to. Okay, could a God? create such a world that we can foundationally know because of his ordination and providence that the external physical world is real could he create such a world i guess so if this all you could always doubt here. it though right uh, okay it's no no, no the issue the, no, the, who said anything about being all powerful now Nobody. so in a scenario a creator god according to you could make us foundationally to know because it would be a belief we held as true where there's a justificatory path due to his sovereign his sovereignty okay and his creation that we could know it now you said we How cannot that know that the external physical world exists now if that statement is true it would true. categorically and completely rule out that a creator god who created such a world exists can you, do you have a defeater that such a world exists? You don't need to accept that such a world exists. You just need to you are claim that such you're, a world you're not for your argument to have any. This weight. is the problem. This is the right? problem. You're not understanding what I'm such saying. Such a world to you. may not exist. You, see, there you may don't not care. Be a God. So without see, a God, you don't, there's no such world. Listen, listen to you me. You don't understand that you're begging you're, the you're, that you're not understanding exists. what I'm saying. You are, you are either understanding you know what, what I'm saying. The is? Oh, what, I, I, the I didn't make any assertion, sir. I'm simply evaluating your statement. Now, can okay, you said a creator God could create a world where we could know things. And you said categorically, we cannot know. Absolutely, you cannot know that the external physical world exists. That statement categorically rules out a creator God doing that. Do you understand that? Yes, because it presupposes okay. that. L sir, does your statement rule out such a God? Why you're not getting this? It's so simple. Does so your simple. statement you rule so out such a God? Question. Do you have any okay. arguments that don't? Make I'm asking. I'm don't only make asking you questions. Does your statement rule out such a God? No, but it doesn't presuppose. Yes, it, it does. Yes, it does. You said we cannot know. If you cannot know that there means there does not exist a creator God who's constructed a world that we can know the external world exists, your statement categorically rules that out. No, it doesn't. Why would it rule okay. it out? Right? It's just not ruling it necessarily that? in. Right? It's just saying that you could potentially doubt. So, do you have a trick. defeater for such a God? You're just asserting that that world exists. You know. That's that, a right? question. That I didn't assert that it exists. Now, I'll, here's the question. Do you have a defeater that there is no creator God who has created a world so that we could know the external world is X? Do, uh, do you have a defeater for that? Why do you have to? Pro why does he have to provide that? Does anybody know why he has to provide that? Exactly. That's just shifting the burden of proof. Do you right? know, sir? I haven't made yes, any sir. claims about my worldview. Now, what you are doing is either, either you two, well, because they keep on over talking me. That's why I'm oh, shouting. So I, so that's what you're doing to other people, though. So. Now, London, kind of. your statement that we cannot know that in any shape or sense that the external physical world rules out that there's a creator God who has created such a world. Do you have a defeater 
that, that there cannot be a creator God who has done that? Can we know that there was a creator God that done that? I'm asking you, do you have a defeater for such a scenario? That's the defeater. Can we know that a creator do God done you, that? No, that's not a defeater. It is. Why? You might not understand. Wow, it, wow. It you are, you, 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 you have very poor critical thinking skills. Here's the question. Do you have a defeater that there is for that no creator God, okay, or let me rephrase this. Do you have a defeater that it is not the case that a creator God constructed such a world? Do you have a defeater for that? As I've, as I've said, you would have to. Can you rule body. that out? All right, let me rephrase the question for your little brain to understand. Can you rule out such a God? Do you understand the difference between epistemology and ontology? Do you understand? Can you the rule that? I you see. Notice everyone in the room. The total evasion of the question. Can you rule out such a god? I've it's been good. evading every question he's okay. asked. I, I am can you rule evading. out such a god? Okay. D can you rule out that such a god exists? I can't rule out that such a god exists. Good, then you can't say necessarily then that we cannot, that it is impossible to know. Because if you did make that statement, you would have to rule out such a God. Do you understand your problem? London started by saying that- No, you don't understand. No, for, for certain, right? He couldn't know for certain that the external world existed. Then Darth came in and was, and he took what he said to say that he he doubted that he he couldn't know that the the uh, external world existed at all, right? So, so what 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 justifies Darth making that claim, right? He's just straw manning. What, what claim did said. I what what claim what claim did I assert? You so you asserted that he so you think that London has said that he can't know anything. He can't know no. the external world exists. He right? said he categorically For said certain, we can said. no no sir you, this is a he canard did. that you're raising that is not what he said you Look, either have a you, you either have a faulty memory you yes, either have a faulty I memory or, I said no you, you can't didn't know for certain that the there you go world oh, okay so well let me okay good since beginning. you're since you're now since you're backpedaling and this schmuck here is white not, for you, not I'll back, ask you the not question. Backpedaling. I will just use I will yeah, ask you a question. Like you were just can you were just wrong. we know? Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. No, I'm not lying. You're lying because I've got you in a corner. Now I'll ask you. Haven't you got a everybody in a corner. You're okay? insane. Uh, my question excludes the issue of psychological confidence. So I'm going what to ask he means you, by that is that can it's always possible we, to doubt can, the existence can of we know? World, is there right? is there any scenario by which we can know that the external physical world exists? No. Okay, no, so no. that so that means that, that can, there that cannot be knowledge. That, that, there's no situation in which we can just Sir, that's redundant. Listen to me. To that's, that, that, no, you're not There's understanding it. That's a redundancy. And epistemology. This is why and our I've conversations said, go nowhere. This is why our conversations go you nowhere. You because you're argumentative. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Does knowledge include the, the concept of justification or a justificatory path? Logical concepts of knowledge are two different things you understand does that, knowledge right? include justification right does knowledge include justification epistemologically yes all right is that the way that, are, no. are you are you using the word that way that knowledge is a justified true belief knowledge is a belief is a belief that cannot be wrong that is certainly true Okay, so it, which means there would be a justificatory path. Yes, you would have justification. For right. So when you say, so when you say, the, the, the listen to me carefully. Listen, dude, itself, dude. Do, 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 do you know why? Do you do you know why our conversations and every single one of them is different to ontological? Listen to me. Do you know? Do you know why our conversations go nowhere? Do you know why our conversations go nowhere? It's because I actually try to converse with you, even though you I'm go. your opponent, okay? But just you you talk past me, and you're simply just argumentative. You ignore almost all of my questions. This is, what, this is why we're at loggerheads. 
Now, a justified knowledge is a redundancy because knowledge already contains the idea of justification. Now, so you said we cannot know that the external physical world exists. Now, can a creator God create a world by which we can know the external world is actual? It could be, yes, it, I, I agree that, that ontologically that could be the case, but epistemologically okay. we can never Can you it. rule, can you, can you, that, well, I'm not, I'm not talking about epistemology, sir. I'm talking about ontology. Now, can, do he's you talking about out, epistemology. Okay, listen, why exactly. do you have to be, why do you have to be such an argumentative jerk? Okay, just respond just you are. intelligent to, me, to my question. Now, can you concept. rule out, real simple, here's the coup de grace. Can you categorically rule comes. out? Can you Here categorically go, rule one. out? Can you categorically rule out that such a god exists? That's not the claim he's making. Okay, it's just that, ridiculous. Can, can you categorically rule out such a god exists? Because if you can't, then you can't make the statement we cannot know. If he did that, he'd be making a knowledge claim okay, about the I'm external waiting. world, which you is know, what he's denying he can I, do. I like your answer. Why these idiots are white knighting for you? Do you have an answer? I, did, I thought this was an open conversation let's, let's, where we could all join in. Let's see if you can answer that last question. Let's see if you even remember my question. Yes, such a God could exist, which could entail us with certain knowledge. Okay, that's not the question. That wasn't the question. We wouldn't be able to epistemologically That wasn't the question. That's not the question. Okay, <laughs> the question is, I didn't ask you, could you justify it? Okay, you're not listening. You're just being argumentative of every second. Every time I talk, you over talk me. No, you didn't answer the question. Can yes. you rule out such here's the question? Can you rule out such a God? He's no. not even claiming that he, that Good. <laughs> then you can't Ridiculous. make the statement we cannot know. I'm done. You're but, a fool. Guys, this is going oh, in done. circles. Um I would really like to listen to Fox and uh London talk. If Mr. Crushin wants to keep screaming, maybe you guys would like to jump oh, in the room he, or something. I think he might have he might have gone. Oh. oh well, He's that's left. I guess that works too. <laughs> oh, um, but you see the pro the problem can, is I mean can I, I ask a question, Mr. Fox? No, I just want to clarify for everybody what was going on there, right? So whatever you think of of, the, of London's epistemology, right? He was clearly he was clearly saying, look, he doesn't think that you can have knowledge, right, of the external world because presumably it's always going to be possible to doubt anything you believe about the external world, right? But that doesn't entail that position. Let's let's just park it there. That doesn't entail believing that it's impossible that certain things about this external world are true right it's just saying he doesn't believe he can know them right um because he has a particular view of justification now we might we might question that view of justification right and say the condition there seems to be quite strong but nonetheless he isn't making a knowledge claim that it's impossible that some god could exist and he could imbue us with with knowledge right he's just saying that it seems like even if god did exist and he was actually imbuing me with knowledge how can I actually know for certain, right? And certainty isn't just there related to psychological state. It's related to doubt, the existence of the possibility of, of, of that being false. How, ca how, can I, how can I know in such a way that I can't possibly doubt, right? So let's say God reveals things through the Bible. It seems always possible that I could deny, I could, I could doubt that, that, that the Bible is actually from, from God, right? It seems, it seems possible, for instance, that human beings wrote the Bible.